Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about the eight ways to drown out disappointment. Now remember, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. And leave me a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response, highly appreciated. Definition of disappointment is sadness or displeasure caused by the non-fulfillment of one's hopes or expectations. And in our life, us as individuals must realize that it takes a certain understanding that we have to take risks and situations that may not seem of the best for us, but we must know that we must block out negative thoughts and negative distractions that try to deter us or take us off course from staying focused. And I have arranged eight suggestions to help you drown out disappointments. And number one, set a schedule. That's right. Set yourself up on a schedule, a routine, a guideline to help you stay focused and to stay committed and to keep you from falling off course by following this schedule. You will always make the right decisions and make the right efforts when they are productive to make because you are on a schedule and you follow this schedule to the last detail and I promised you success. Number two procrastinate with purpose even on your downtime and in between time you are still working on your craft and your dream because you have made this your life so even on your downtime when you're relaxing you are still working on your craft because you are committed and focused on making this your reality number three say to yourself I will achieve my goals. Make sure that you make this a part of your mindset. This way you will know for sure that you are going to achieve your goals because you are holding yourself accountable and you are going to do everything that's within your means to accomplish this dream or goal because you have made this a part of you and you are holding yourself accountable to make sure that this becomes reality number four organize make sure you stay well organized with your life and the things that consist of you becoming successful at pursuing your dreams or goals make sure you're organized and well arranged this way you don't have no distractions or obstacles in your way on pursuing these dreams or goals because you are organized so you can apply all of your attention and your effort in that in this direction because you are organized you are better equipped on achieving this because you are focused and you have don't have no distraction number five approach the person you admire and ask for help maybe there's someone in the line of work that you are in and they are successful at what you are doing reach out to them ask them a pointer or two who knows they may respond back and help you and you may be able to help them with something they are struggling with also so don't never be discouraged on reaching out to someone that you admire they may be a down-to-earth person to give you that pointer or two that you need to stay focused and to stay committed number six find someone to hold you accountable find someone who is trustworthy who is honest that can be there for you to hold you accountable for when you fall off course or get distracted they will remind you and put you back into reality and tell you that you have a mission to complete and to stay focused and to stay committed and to get back on path to get back on course and to hold you accountable for doing this
Number seven, journal. Make sure that you write down your thoughts. No matter if you think it's a weak thought or a powerful thought, write it down. Come back to it and see how did you handle this thought? Or do you need to still address this thought? Very important to write down what we think about so that we can become more aware of the things that we have in our head and are we acting on them accurately. Number eight, say to yourself, it's not a matter of life or death if you succeed or not. You won't die if you don't succeed. Let this become a part of your reality and let this be your motivation that you may fall off course. You may not always hit your mark, but the main thing is to stay focused and to stay committed and to stay driven and to give it 120% of your effort. This way you know you left it all on the line and you gave it your best shot. I'm gonna do a recap. Number one, set a schedule. Number two, procrastinate with purpose. Number three, I will achieve my goals. Number four, organize. Number five, approach the person, ask for help. Number six, find someone to hold you accountable. Number seven, journal. Number eight, it's not a matter of life or death. Very important for us to have a mindset and to know that in order to achieve our dreams and goals, we will go through situations and times that seems like it's not working or things are getting rough, but this is the time and this is the place to put your mind back in focus and to block out these distractions and these negative thoughts and to keep building, keep grinding, keep applying pressure until you knock this out the park because your dreams are goals are essential to you and they are special and they are to be pursued until you have achieved this. Make this a part of your reality and add these eight ways to drown out disappointment along your route. Like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to receive all of my content. And leave a comment below to let me know how you feel about this segment. Your response, highly appreciated. I'm Manifesta. This is my vision. May God bless you.